So what I'm going to show you now is this is um, an example of what a Mumatone track is. I'll start with the rhythm first. So that's the original. I took the drum loop and added in my drum. So the next part right here is the breakdown. Now, EDM songs kind of have like their format is like intro, build up, and then drop. You know, everything is about to drop. So. What I did is I took that whole, all the drum loops, the little vocal loops and stuff and mixed them up for the intro. Then now I did like a breakdown. And I looped that. So now I wanted to build drums on top of it to kind of like give it a different feel for, for now the next build. -up. So this part is all about the intensity before it's about to go to the drop, like the excitement. The second drop, basically the main sound is a little more intense than the first sound. So I'll show you the difference between the first and the second sound. The first is this. Drop is this. It's kind of like, kind of like a triplet feel, where it's like you know on every third, as opposed to you know four to the floor. Like, How long like, would it say you take to build up a track? Like that? It usually stems from an idea like that. Like that'll be the idea, and then I'm like, all right, now let me listen to the song. How can I emulate and how can I sample at the same time without you know like with trying, not trying to do the same thing, but try to create something new that, you know, I can call my own, you know? Let's say this track particular, it took me maybe a couple hours because I kind of had the idea already of what I wanted to do, so I had a starting point, and then once I had the starting point, everything kind of just like falls into place over time. Like, this original sound is not the melody. So I'll play, this is what the original sound is. That's all it is. But when I play it for you, you'll hear a totally different sound. So what I did is, I looped it. So I'll show you the steps of this sound. So this one, that's what it sounded like. Well, basically what this program does, it cuts up the sound. So I made this rhythm to cut up the sound. And this is, so now it changed from just a one single sound to actual, sounds like I'm playing notes. Like it has a rhythm to it. Yeah. Now I use the same thing <laughs> to do a, 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 what's called a side chain. And what a side chain does is it basically tells one sound to duck under another sound. So when I have the bass kick going, I want this sound to kind of duck under the bass to see like, sound like it's releasing out from under the kick. Mm. So when you have, I'll play the kick so you can hear that. So it kind of sounds like the kick is cutting it off. But it's, I mean, I'm, I'm faking it. So.